breaking news overnight. A deadly crash in the middle of an I-4 construction zone. A driver killed after breaking down, getting out of his SUV, and then getting hit by a motorcycle. Mark Lehman joins us near the scene along I-4 and Gore Street in downtown Orlando. So, Mark, what have you learned about the person on the motorcycle? Well, Justin, we're told that rider was injured and likely had little time to react when he hit and killed a man here along this busy stretch of I-4. That victim, we're told, got out of his SUV after police say it broke down or ran out of gas late last night. Now, keep in mind, this area in downtown is right in the middle of construction from the I-4 Ultimate Project, so there is no shoulder or any other space outside of the travel lanes. Investigators say the victim got out of his vehicle on the passenger side, and seconds later, a motorcycle crashed into him. The man was pronounced dead on scene. The motorcyclist was taken to the hospital but is expected to survive. Police say no other vehicles were involved in the crash that shut down westbound I-4 for several hours overnight. As we come back out here live this morning, the interstate, as you can see, uh, reopened around 2 this morning. Police are not yet releasing the victim's name. That's something we're working to get answered. And we're also asking police about what drivers should do if faced with a similar situation in a construction a zone like this one. We'll, of course, keep you updated with any new information we learn out here along I-4 in downtown Orlando, Kirsten. Mark Lehman reporting live. Thank you, Mark.